Games technology, obviously it makes a lot of sense for the students to be making games straight away because there's a lot of different elements of what goes into making a game, but it's important for students to understand how those things fit together to actually pull a game together. We've ended up making two games, one for each semester. It was kind of a challenge at first because obviously there's a lot of people who aren't necessarily good with working with new people straight away. I've enjoyed just going from the process of prototyping to concepts to actually making all the, the product and it was great fun. We use virtual reality, so at the moment that's using um, Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. Uh, the cool thing about this is it's a bit different to what students would normally learn if they were just using traditional um, games design, so just using a monitor. We want the students to interact with the technologies that they'll be working with in the industry rather than what necessarily has been worked on right now, so we're always trying to be at the cutting edge of what is available. We found ALL is a great way for our first year students to get a really wide encompassing view of what it takes to make a computer game. Occasionally this is a bit painful for them, but they do learn some really interesting skills and they often surprise themselves on what they can accomplish. They kind of start you off in the right direction and then for the most part they kind of, once you've been told how to do it, they don't really tell you too much, they leave you to explore because not everyone's, you know, there's not always going to be people there telling you how to do things. We find that students really surprise themselves on what they can achieve because they've not made computer games before, no one has. And they're coming here and we're asking them to make a virtual reality game in their first year of study, which is an extremely difficult process to start with. So what we do is we give the students a challenge where they don't expect to be able to complete it and then ideally they surprise themselves with what they can achieve. Within the first week you're told you've got to make a game, you've got to prototype a game, you've got to make the concept, you've got to design every aspect of it and it's, it's good to be thrust in at the deep end. The good thing about teaching um, ALL is that instead of me just being in front of hundreds of students in a lecture hall where they're all just facing me at the front, um, it's a lot more personal and I get to know students a lot, a lot better. I actually get to kind of individually find out what each student, who they are, what they do, um, their interests, their strengths, their weaknesses. If it was a massive lecture hall with hundreds of students, uh, you know, it's hard to get that kind of experience. Personally, uh, as an academic, I find it really interesting to teach in this way because we don't necessarily know what problems are going to come up. We don't know how students are going to deal with the things that we give them to approach. And we find it very, very exciting. And it's a really fun way of doing things.